I'm going to show you how to charge different size batteries with these inexpensive uh, 18650 battery chargers, capacitor testers. Uh, it uh, do a whole lot of functions that a lot of uh, the more expensive uh, built up capacity testers and chargers won't do. This is sort of streamlined to keep the expense down. A uh, little fan on it. It has four uh, individual bays for charging 18650 batteries, but most of these only come for 18650 batteries since they were so popular. Um, if you've got uh, like these 21700 uh, batteries at larger sizes like that, and you want to charge, they won't fit in these things. Also, the smaller ones won't fit with them. I'm just going to show you what you need to do. Uh, easy step if you already have one of these. Um, they're only anywhere from eight to fifteen dollars for these. Um, but what you need to do uh, is get you a battery holder of the correct size. So they make these inexpensive battery holders that are only anywhere from uh, seventy cent to a dollar fifty, depending on where you get them. And you can connect these to your eighteen six fifty charger. So say in this case, if I'm wanting to. Uh, to charge this much larger uh, 21700 battery here all I've got to do is just mount it into this adapter here just put it into here and then I take these connections on the top of these 18650 chargers there's a connector here so you just back these off a little bit um, and in this case the uh, positive side here with it is in the left. They're different on some of these depending on which one you get, but uh, you want to make sure that you get the right uh, connector in here. So just insert that, tighten it down, and we'll be able to tell if it's got a good connection once we turn it on here. I'm going to go ahead and install this one. I'm going to get it firm in there, but not overly tight to where it doesn't get hot. If it makes a good connection, you won't have issues with it. Um, I'm going to take, these are run by a USB-C uh, connector for power with them. So I can just plug this in the top. It'll turn on. And this has different bays, so it'll automatically, if your connections are good up here in the top, it'll automatically show your voltage with it. Um, I can also at the same time, since I've just got this side plugged in, it's good to use another power connector on this side and it'll give you a higher uh, charge capability. It'll, it'll charge at a higher amperage with it. But this one's connected to the left one, the larger battery here. And this battery, you have to be careful, negative, positive on here. This one, the positives are facing toward you. So I can put this second battery in, and this 18650, and it'll do fine working alongside the larger battery. So it automatically tells me the voltage on here. It'll read it. Um, you've got different things you can do with these. So um, this one's set on discharge right now, so it's on the second bay. So what I'll do with this far right here, it changes what bay you're working with what the reading is four, so one. So one, we're back to this connected external battery and, and uh, holder there. And with it, it's showing it's uh, 4.8 volts. So if I want to charge it all the way up, I look at these readings down here, and I can scroll through the functions. So it's on mode, it says charge. If I want to change that, so the next step it goes to discharge automatic it'll charge it up or down depending on what it needs and then back to charge again and the next one turns it on and off but while you're in this function again you can go through the next step click it again and it'll change the settings on it so that's the stop voltage and that stop voltage only works when you're discharging so I'll usually don't discharge these batteries any more than 2.8, but 
but in this case we're wanting to charge it so I'm in the charge mode here and I just hit this button and that'll start charging you can see this flashing indicator here it'll let you know that this battery is charging and these things are mostly only safe with 3.5 volts so if you use a much larger cell that uh, has a max charge instead of being a 4.2 if it's like a 3.8 or something you might want to uh, avoid those batteries but you can go a few sizes bigger in the cells of these and you can also go smaller if you buy the smaller version of that you can get these little 14 50 size cells here um, there's a few other tricks you can do to charge in these since they're smaller you can actually um, insert these in here and stick a piece of aluminum foil if you're really hard up um, that works really good but you have to be super safe with it making sure the connections right nothing's grounding out or you can also use these size adapters to where um, you can put different batteries into a insert like this and you can get a 1450 uh, battery that you put into a, a plastic upsizer that'll fit into a 18650 charging bay but with this right now we've got the number one charging here so it's putting since it's close to fully charged it's putting in only 0.6 amps but it'll charge up to two amps at a time into the battery so if this was really low it'll automatically start off with around a half a amp and it'll bump its way up to it gets up to two amps of charging when there's plenty of room to charge in it the finishing part of the charge this will gradually drop down in how much amps is forcing into the battery but also why we got this connected we can um, use this other bay too so on this far right button here you click from going the working one here one to two so two is showing us at 4.2 4.12 amps so I've got this one charging but I want to discharge this one say if I want to store it and want it to store at a lower voltage say you know, down to 3.6 or something for a long-term storage uh, once I go to channel 2 I click through and I want this on discharge so I can put on automatic charge or discharge I want it on discharge so to drop this down um, I have to put it at the low voltage I want so 2.8 is about as low as you want to go for testing um, but if you want to uh, just put it as storage whatever you're comfortable storing it at um, with me uh, a lot of times I'll store a battery at around 3.6 volts or so or 3.2 even and once you put it at that discharge to 3.2 that's as low as it'll discharge so if I'm comfortable with discharging this battery 3.2 down to 3.2 voltage I've got a discharge and the stop voltage and then I just hit this third button and it'll start discharging so it's showing to me it's discharging and it'll discharge a battery at up to one amp and it this is automatic you can't adjust that so smaller batteries it's usually a lower voltage amperage it's 0.5 or lower with it so this battery right here is getting discharged and this one on the left is getting charged and it'll do it both at the same time with that so that's a nice option you want to put something away use a different flashlight maybe that needs a bigger cell and you can charge it like that so just by this external connection it'll allow you to to connect bigger batteries to it and charge them that way instead of being stuck with just the 18650 cells so hope that helped you out um, it's nice to be able to have a charger like this to do a little bit of everything these things also have a capacity mode I'm not getting into that right now but you can also go through the capacity testing with it externally like this also you can just plug these wires in and do a capacity test and what that'll do it'll basically it'll charge your battery all the way up 
and automatically once it hits the max it'll discharge it down and then it'll recharge it back up again and it'll let you know what the uh, true capacity of the battery is so you know anywhere from eight to fifteen dollars for one of these things it'll do a lot more for you than most of these basic chargers will and uh, a lot of people already have these for the 18650s but this will just let people know that you can mount a holder of various sizes and fit whatever current battery you have and and still do all the functions that you could with your 18650 so if this helps you out at all uh, please like and subscribe i'll put some links to the everything i used in the video here and uh, hope this helped you out so appreciate you watching thanks